So hello and greetings from Trinidad. My name is Ayinka Grandison and I'm Senior Technical Officer and Resilient Lead at the Caribbean Natural Resources Institute, Canary. We are excited to have a virtual marketplace stall at CBA 15, which showcases an innovative tool for climate proofing local green enterprises to help entrepreneurs assess the impacts of climate change across the entire value chain for their product or service, like making fair trade chocolate or filleting, smoking and packaging fish or doing eco tours and identify practical solutions to adapt and build resilience while adding value to their enterprises. Why focus on climate proofing enterprises? Well, local community micro and small enterprises, including those in the informal sector, are an important source of household income and are a key part of the local economy and livelihoods. Agribusinesses also contribute to food security, but they're highly vulnerable to climate change and related disasters due to rising temperatures, more intense storms, floods, droughts, sea level rise, coastal erosion that impacts on the natural resources that these enterprises rely on. So reducing these potential impacts on these enterprises while adding value to their products and services to improve their bottom line, we see as a key means to help build the resilience of local communities and their livelihoods. And so we're doing it through this climate proofing tool, which is built on work piloted by Canary with small agribusiness and fishing enterprises in the Caribbean over the last five years, including in Barbados, Dominica, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Trinidad and Tobago. With our partners, including the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, European Union, and the UNDP Jeff Small Grant Program. So I really want to invite you all to come check out our stall and learn more about our practical experiences and lessons for strengthening local community enterprises and building resilient local livelihoods while you're at CBA 15.